What is going on guys and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. How's it going? I know that I usually wait a couple days before I put out a new like video and a new series something like that but I've been enjoying this game so much that I really wanted to put out another episode and judging by the comments that I got from you guys you really enjoyed it too. So again if you're new uh, check the description below or I'll probably put an annotation or something like that in this video that links you back to the first episode. Uh, but this is episode two, so if you missed the first one, go back and watch that. What we're trying to do here is level this guy up just enough to be able to use this katana here, and then we're going for the Grave Warden's Twin Blades. So I think now we actually have to go and fight Vort in the High Wall of Lothric, and that's pretty much probably going to be this episode, is us just trying to get there. So sit back, get comfortable, relax. We're going to go through the High Wall of Lothric, try not to get our asses kicked, and this should be a lot of fun. We'll see. And gorgeous view ahead. Yes! God, I love the vistas in this game. Like, that's one thing Dark Souls has always done super, super well, is their environments and the the backgrounds and stuff like that. Like, I don't think any game... I mean, Warframe is pretty good at skyboxes, but, dude, I think Dark Souls, the Dark Souls series, pretty much takes the cake. This area is gonna totally suck, especially with all these dogs. Dude, did I just bleed him in two hits? Holy crap. All right, maybe not. I don't know. Just has no range. This guy needs to die, like, real quick. There we go. Otherwise, that becomes a problem. All right, there we go. We're good. We're good. Wait, I think I needed, what is it, like 800 souls or something like that to level up to use the Uchi. Let me kill a couple more of these guys. There we go. A backstab fish, though. Seriously? God, that strong attack is so wimpy. All right, we're close. We're close. Let me drop onto this guy. Oh, there we go. This area is usually problematic for me because I like to get hung up on killing everything, anything and everything that moves. And I sometimes forget that you can just run through. He's down there screaming. I actually don't know what he does exactly, but I know it's not good. Oh, he calls the- wakes up all the hollows in the area. That's gotta be what it is. Alright, I think actually we're good to go. I'm gonna go level up real quick, and then we'll come right back. Oh yeah! Uchi Katana hype. I really, I mean, the Katana weapons are cool and everything in this game because you can parry with them and stuff, but I, I still like, I feel like it's, seriously? I was about to say I feel like it's easy mode, but then I just lied all over my face. This is actually a really, really good starting weapon. I love how it has the R2, the sword art, where you can do this, and then the R1. That's pretty awesome. That reminds me of the, uh, the Aieto from Dark Souls 1. I think the Aieto could do that. Gonna need that gold pine resin, that's gonna be super helpful. Whoa, I actually lived for like two seconds. That was impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, screw this. I think I've got just about everything I need. I'm gonna go on to Vort, and then if there's anything else that I'm missing, I'm probably just gonna run through and grab it off camera. Off camera. Also, one thing I'd like to know, guys, is what would you what are you more interested in seeing in this series? Do you just want to see me fight the bosses? Do you like seeing me walk through the areas and, you know, the general gameplay of it all, or what is it that you like? I'm okay with doing just about anything, honestly. Like, as long as I get to play Dark Souls, I'm pretty much... Oh, this area sucks. Ow, you bastard. So I'm killing enemies in about two hits, which is really nice. I need about two Titanite shards, though, and I can get a plus one weapon. And I, for some reason, cannot remember... Seri How do you have iframes there? That... That's kind of shitty. Cool parry. Ho! Oh, hi oh! <laughs> I love the feeling of getting a parry with a katana weapon. Mass genocide to crystal lizards, am I right? Poor little guy. I always feel really bad killing those. Why am I bothering with you? Why why am I doing this? Why why do I put myself through this? There is an Esta shard through here that I really want to get. Oh, you can't parry his shield bash. That's dumb. Come on, big guy, what you got? What you got? Hate these spear dudes. Alright, come on, get backstabbed. Ho! Parry King. Bows Phoenix parries the world, guys. You saw it here. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> we had the same <laughs> We had the same death animation. You be the six and I'll be the nine. Alright, take two. Let's see if we can get this guy this time. I hate these dudes. I hate these dudes. I keep forgetting it's R2. L2, R2. No! No, what are you doing? 
I hate when you get the- see, that pisses me off. When you get the backstab animation, but you don't get a backstab. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, you're so backstabbed right now, it's not even funny. Just die! Good lord, dude, come on. How much- okay, thank god. Man, I hate these guys. Alright, I hate the Uchi. God, I can't wait to get a different weapon than this. You are not running from me. And then there's a Estus Shard down there. Oh, there's another Titanite Shard. Never mind. I know where another one is. So, I, I know this one's here because I watch them get it all the time on the speed run. There we go. Oh, shit. Hey, it doesn't matter. I still got it. We're good. All right, I'm gonna go go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my Uchi Katana just so I can take on Vort a little easier. And here's a tip. If you have a bunch of souls that you don't feel like going in your menu and using, you can sell them to the Handmaiden. I hate how two-handing, one-handed weapons looks in this game. Like, I hate how you run with them like that. It's so goofy looking. Especially, like, from the front, it looks okay. Eh, maybe not. Oh, man! I went all the way back there and I totally forgot about my, my Estus shard. Oh well. I don't think I'll need it. I've got four. I've got four Estus last right now. Dude, oh, I hate archers. Archers, dogs, and the thralls in this game. And see that stupid backstab animation. It's the worst. Dude, please. With your broken straight sword. How, can they, how come their broken straight sword does so much damage? It's ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna kill this guy just for the souls. So these guys are fairly easily backstabbable. Yeah, because they are big fat and they move really slow. Alright, you can backstab out of that. There we go. And let's do a strong attack. Sweet! Those guys were so scary on my first playthrough, it was ridiculous. The only thing up there is a Ring of Sacrifice, I don't really need that. I don't think I've ever, in like any Dark Souls game ever, I don't think I've ever used a Ring of Sacrifice. Except for like the Seath fight in Dark Souls 1. Where you like are it's scripted that you die some green blossoms here i'm getting a lot better at remembering the item placement of all the different items in the game like it makes playthroughs so much faster when you've beaten the game a couple times and you can just run through and grab what you know you need and leave behind the things that you know you don't need okay so we're almost at vort 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 whatever his name is i keep forgetting what he's what he's called i think now would be a really good time to go back get my estus flask i've got that checkpoint unlocked i'm gonna have to kill the stupid dog because they'll teleport to you for some reason, and they'll follow you forever. All right, reinforce this, and oh man, what do I level? It's kind of interesting, their level design and how they do that. And, like, you'll go through, you'll unlock shortcuts, and then you realize that was a Bloodborne thing, too. They did that a lot, like, uh, I'm thinking specifically, like, Yargul, the Unseen Village. There's a shortcut you get that is, like, a shortcut, but it's way all the way back at the beginning of the area. And it takes you straight to the boss, which I think is kind of cool. I think it's neat that I, I've always loved the level design of the Souls games. I mean, I think the first one was legendary, and it's kind of hard to ever beat that. The second game kind of sucked in that sense. Like, you never felt like any of the areas were connected. And you kind of feel like that a little bit in this one, too. But it's not as bad. Uh, the, the areas are still pretty well connected. And they're still interesting to go through. I know there's some good stuff in this area. I know Lucerne is over there. But I don't really need any of that stuff. Let's just go ahead and go straight to Vort. I'm actually going to watch this cutscene because it's really cool. And so the reason that these guys look like this, the reason that these enemies like the Boreal, uh, the, uh, Boreal Valley guys, like the Dancer, this guy, those little guys that wield the Frost Swords, like the one before the Road of Sacrifices, apparently, according to the item description of the Pontiff's Rings, Pontiff bestowed those rings upon them, and they're kind of cursed and they eventually turn the, the wearer into an animal. So, it's kind of bloodborne -y, though. Like, especially that noise. That sounds like a recycled bloodborne noise. Anyway, let's wreck this dude. Or try to. Oh, man. I already screwed up. Compared to my, my fight last night. Alright, this dude has a worst hitboxes in the game. Alright, come on. Oh, dude, for real? That's how we're gonna play? Alright, that's cool. There we go. Was that a bleed that I got on him? I need to stop trying to do strong attacks like that. That's just really risky and unnecessary. Alright, so he's gonna charge at me. And you wanna make sure you get to the right of that! And this music is amazing! God, he scares the shit out of me, and then he always goes into a breath ice thing. So you can just wail away on him here. Come on, give me a bleed, dude, for real. But most of the time, you can do pretty well just staying behind him. 
All right, come on. This is for the win, boys. Come on. There we go. Woo. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice. First try, hype. First try, everybody. That's two bosses on the first try. I think I'm getting a little better at this game. Let's go real quick and grab the banner from What's-Her-Face. God, don't kill me, please. That would be really embarrassing to die to a regular enemy after just killing a boss on my first try. So, another thing, too, is uh, I'm not kind of the kind of guy that likes to like scream and shout at video games. I like to just kind of play through them in more of a chill way and experience them with you guys and just kind of go through the game. Another one that I'm really excited to play... Um, I don't have a capture card for my PS4, my PS4, but I would really like to get one here eventually. And another game that I am super excited about playing is Uncharted 4. I know that just came out like yesterday. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet or played it because I'm trying to wait. I want to make sure that, you know, experience that with you guys. If that is a game you're interested in seeing, let me know. If you guys would like to see some Uncharted 4 gameplay and me playing through that game, I would love to share that experience with you guys. I think it would be an absolute blast, so... I, I think it'd be super fun, and I would love to do that. So let's go ahead and let's get out of here and go to Undead Settlement. God, I love this view. I love how the camera zooms back out, too. It's so awesome. Oh, I didn't even realize. So there's the there's the bog down there. There's Faron, Faron Keep or whatever, where we have to go through and light those bonfire or t turn out those fires. Uh, man, there's all kinds of... This is awesome. I love this game. I love how they do this kind of stuff. All righty, we're here, Undead Settlement. So we'll tackle this area in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this, uh, this episode here. If you did, support it with a like. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. I put out Warframe, Dark Souls, you know, different video games, stuff like that. Primarily Warframe content for now. Uh, also, I'm going to be working on a new board game review video, so, you know, keep your eyes peeled for that. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you think about the Uncharted 4 stuff. I'd love to play that game. i got to get a capture card first, unfortunately. But let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.